What's going on with y'all? Jeff Lacey Jr. here with the Ball Sports Network. Got my Kobe Bryant hat on because we're going to be talking about the All-Star Weekend and recapping everything that happened now. I just want to say, you know, we got to give it up for the NBA because the whole weekend was beautiful. Just everything that they did to honor Kobe Bryant, Gianna Bryant, David Stern, and the victims of that helicopter crash. I mean, I don't think they could have done a better job. Like, they executed everything to perfection, I would say, from the, you know, the jerseys being worn for the 2 and 24, the black patches for David Stern, the stars to remember the victims of the helicopter crash, all nine victims. I mean, it was just, it was just well done. Everything about it was beautiful. And then also the playing to 24 in the actual game, uh, the 24, 24 points higher than the highest score in the the actual game itself. Now let me talk, but let me recap the dunk contest, three point contest. Those were great. Uh, that was cool. I think Aaron Gordon might've got robbed again. I mean, but you know, it is what it is. Dunk contest is what it is. It's amazing dunks. I will say one of the better dunk contests, probably the best dunk contest since the last time Aaron Gordon was in there and he go, went against Zach Levine. Uh, but this one was really good. Derrick Jones did some, some dunks I had never seen before. I mean, the backboard jumping over a guy under the legs, incredible. Aaron Gordon's 360 catching the ball off the side of the backboard, incredible. And an amazing, we'll clap it up for those guys. So let's get to the game though now the game itself was amazing right like we still saw our all-star style antics at the beginning right because you know it's a it's an exhibition game you don't want to make sure nobody gets hurt but we did see them play hard to get that money to those charities i mean so hard that in the third quarter they we ended up with a tie right and then in the fourth quarter it's i mean it was just the best street ball game you could see the best players in the world playing the best pickup game that was to offer and I didn't like that Cal Lowry was in the game over Trey Young Trey Young was a starter Trey Young to me deserved to be in there at the end of the game but I understood same with Luka Luka was in there was on the bench while Chris Paul played for Team LeBron so I get it and, you know put the veterans in let them you know they made some clutch plays down the stretch I will say both Cal Lowry and Chris Paul but because it was so competitive I think this format for one, it's here to stay. I don't see them changing it. I think they'll do the three quarters, $100,000 to each charity of the choice of the captain, which, by the way, is amazing in itself because we're talking about $400,000 going to a charity in Chicago and another 100000 going to a separate charity. Both, I mean, that right there in the NBA is going to benefit those charities in ways that we will never see like we'll never know just the general public but it, it's going to go a long way into helping and developing young children in the city of chicago and and ever of course every city who has a charity needs that so that is amazing in itself and I, i'm glad that it'll rotate so every city that participates in in the all-star or host the all-star will have two charities that benefit greatly on the expense of the nba you know on the nba's dime so that that is beautiful and that's why this thing will stay, because it made it competitive and it benefits children. And you can't, you know, you get no better than that. When you get a competitive game, you know, something that said the NBA All-Star game had been lacking, and you mix it with donations to children, you're only going to get positive results. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, congratulations to Kawhi Leonard. And that's another thing the NBA did. I forgot to mention that. They renamed the MVP of the All-Star game to the Kobe Bryant MVP trophy. That, I mean, come on, man. Like, you, you can't get no better than that, man. Like, that stuff, like, everything the NBA did this All-Star Weekend, they executed it to perfection. Bravo to the NBA. Bravo to Adam Silver. Thank you to Chris Paul for bringing this format to Adam Silver. Adam Silver and the guys over at the NBA for adopting this and thinking it over and deciding to run with it. And, you know, uh, just everything they did. The Jennifer Hudson tribute was beautiful. I wasn't crazy about the Chance the Rapper halftime performance, hey, but whatever. He performed Ultra Light being Kanye's in the crowd. And you don't do it with Kanye. Crazy. I, I didn't like that, but whatever. But Jennifer Hudson, I mean, she went crazy for her whole Kobe Bryant song and tribute. Just beautiful. It was amazing. And like I said, the game itself, the competitive nature is what everybody wants to see. The Pro Bowl in the NFL is a wash. The MLB, 
All-Star Game is actually pretty good, and it has a lot at stake. It actually determines the home field advantage for whichever side wins. So if the AL wins, the AL team in the World Series gets home field in the MLB. But that's pretty good, but nobody watches MLB. They have their own viewership problems and attendance problems. The NBA is the, the All-Star Game that a lot of people really care about. It's in-season, and a lot to a lot of people it matters. But for years it hadn't mattered, or at least they were playing like it hadn't mattered. This will bring back that competitive nature trying to get that money to the charity of your choice, trying to win that game, trying to get that Kobe Bryant MVP trophy. Bravo to NBA. I really enjoyed it. You let me know what you thought. What were your thoughts of All-Star Weekend overall? I think it was it was pretty good. Aaron Gordon got robbed. Three-point contest was very competitive. I really liked that, especially that four-point ball or that deep three-point ball. You know, you got ones and twos and threes, and but now it's a three-point ball from way, way back. I really love that addition. And then the game itself, the three-quarter charity, and then the fourth quarter big money prize playing to 24 is amazing. Uh, once again, my name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. Continue to like like and subscribe to our videos. Hit the thumbs up button on everything. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.